It's hard to project what you're going to do five and ten years from now when you don't have a plan behind labor force. It's the CNMI's long-standing issue and the reason behind the Saipan Chamber of Commerce's recent trip to meet with federal officials and members of Congress, including Guam delegate James Moylan. They discussed a potential one Marianas approach. About maybe down line looking at the opportunity to see if there could be, and this is outside the box thinking, but a one Marianas H2B-esque visa. If we're going to move away and get rid of the FCW, then we need um, some type of visa that will work within the Marianas for day laborers, which is really what is the necessity uh, in augmenting our need for labor force in the Commonwealth. The issue becoming more critical with each passing day as the CNMI contract worker visa departure requirements start to take effect later this year. CW visa holders have to leave the U.S. for at least 30 days prior to the submission of a renewal petition, which can take months. We went from 27,000 workers in 2019 to 23,000 workers in 2020, and I think we're further dropped in this timeline. CNMI delegate Gregorio Sablon, a Democrat, has pushed for a delay in the touchback policy in a Republican-controlled House. The political climate could push the chamber to call for the CNMI Covenant's 902 talks with the White House. At the end of the day, touchback um, is something that's going to have an 11th hour uh, Hail Mary call with the NDAA. If there's even a slight chance there could be an amendment made, um, that is the only bill that we're going to be able to jump on before this fiscal year. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Saipan.